you know, as you keep getting higher and higher as far as whatever number you have as far as either, it could be credits, it could be platinum, mastery, warframes you have, whatever the case may be. But in my case, when I hit 150k platinum, 150,000, and I started to keep going with it, guys were coming at me, messaging me as far as, you know, this person was getting banned. Another person who been banned was mentioning was mentioning my name, but he didn't directly say my name, but he was mentioning me into the fact that, oh, you got a guy over on PlayStation who has over 100K platinum. Nobody's doing nothing about him. And I was like, he must be talking about me because I'm the only guy on the PlayStation to have this amount of platinum grinding the trade and all this stuff. Then one other um person, I believe he was like mastery rank 15 going on 16. He got banned for having only 30,000 platinum. And <laughs> to make, to make it even more, Eye opening. Not only I covered it, Rio was talking about it as well. Number of other channels were talking about it as well. But once I heard Rio talk about it, I was I immediately messaged him on that video. I was like, I believe this has something to do with me. But if they try to come at me, nothing is gonna happen because at the end of the day, what you do in trade. Everything is being modified, all of that. And plus, I was saying, look, if you have something and you can sell it off, that person who wants it can't, even if they want to take a screenshot and they can't take a screenshot, they can't run to DE and be like, yo, this dude just flat out scammed me. All through my years of running through trade, trade with over hundreds, thousands of people. In this game, I have not scammed not one person. And to put even more validation onto it, as far as for myself, people were trying to get me banned when I only had 7,000 platinum. Because back then, 7,000 platinum was a lot, a lot of platinum. And people were trying to get me banned at that time. And they couldn't do it. So you're talking about from 7,000, 20,000, 50, 100, 150K. People would try to get me banned. And what happened? I'm still right here. You know, my Valkyrie, she's she, she, she right here. My Kavat's still over there. All, all this stuff, I, I'm still here. Before I became a Warframe partner, people would try to get me banned. Now that I am a Warframe partner content warframe partner currently of course people still trying to get me banned because oh this guy has way too much platinum okay you do know there's a lot of people out there who are actually have at least 80 90 thousand 100 thousand people more and more have this amount of platinum or they probably have slightly more than me because i set the standard there was a time, like I said in my other stories, when I was telling telling this, I'm like, yo, me on the PlayStation side, Neo Ness on the other. At the time, Neo Ness had gotten at least fifty to sixty thousand and was going strong. He made the switch going over to PC because he wanted to expand. He wanted to help more people gaining gain platinum as well because he was successful on Xbox. But as far as with me, I'm on PlayStation side, and for most people, getting platinum on PlayStation is ten is ten times worse because people try to lowball you with every chance they get. So as far as with me having the amount of platinum that I have, it's like I won't say I put so much pressure on others to get to where I'm at, but all I did was make it so much easier because here this goes in the trade. We didn't have, well, not just we, but Warframe in general 
There was no filter system. And me and Neil Ness and others, but I can only speak for myself. I was pushing for a filter system the longest because if you ask any person that interacts with the trade, when you t when, when there's no filter system and you just take it off just so, the chat will move at such a speed. Even back then, it will move five times faster than this. You cannot keep up with it. If you're trying to find somebody who wants to buy something or if they're trying to sell something for a good price that's for you, you would have to track that person. You had to scroll up and be like, oh, let me see if I could catch them, man. This thing is moving so fast. You're trying to go at the name, it will move so. You're trying to find this name, it will move. It will keep on moving just so. Like, mad quick. He's like, yo, I can't keep up. Now we have a filter system in the game. People will private message me on PlayStation and be like, yo, thanks, Kachi. You know, because of you and others, but mainly you pushing for a filter system. Yo, it's much more easier to make platinum. It's easier to make platinum. So when guys don't have to go through that struggle, and I don't say as far as with myself, I struggled to make the platinum that I did. All I did was just grind it and grind it and grinded this game completely down to the ground. Most people cannot do what I do as far as within trade. Because at that time, if you're going into trade, into the trade chat, it's like, yo, I'm going to be in there for like 25, 35 minutes. Like, yeah, I'm good. You know, 35 minutes in the chat is nothing. That is nothing. You try and do what I did in today's, <laughs> in today's game. You'd be like, man, that's way too much, man. Yeah, six, seven, eight hours. Most people can't do that. So, as far as with me having this amount of platinum, others were getting banned and they had less plat than me. I was like, I find that weird. I really do. They probably were doing something that they shouldn't do. Come to find out, I was like, oh, this person's scamming this guy. I was like, you can't do that. If you have something... Right. If you have something and you have all the parts, sell all the parts. Don't be like, yo, let me go into my inventory right quick. And like, you know, um, oh, he's looking for an ember. All right. You know, let me give him a helmet system chassis. But I'm just not going to put the blueprint in there. I'm just going to slide something else in there. And back then. The trade isn't what it is now so that if you put something in, it checks it off for you. Check this off, check this off, check this off. Back then, there was no check system. You put whatever you put in and be like, oh, okay, he put the parts in. It's all good. Where's that ember blueprint, though? Everything else is there, but I go, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw in this Equinox blueprint. He ain't going to see this. What? Nah, bruh. You deserve to get banned. And plus, on top of that, you just scam somebody else. And to make even matters worse, when someone does catch the person who scammed, you know what they do? Because it happened to a, a, a guy who I was helping in the trade. He got scammed and he was trying to get in contact with the guy who did it. Guess what? He logged off a of Warframe. Turn off his PlayStation so the guy can't message him. The guy can't get in contact with him. I was like, see, he knew what he did. <laughs> he knew what he did. So people were getting banned left, right, and center. And it was like the more platinum that I accumulated, the more these stories just kept coming out. And I was like, this, this ain't right. That's why one of my main reasons why I made the video that I did as far as how to go from zero plat to 100K is that I'm showing people to do it the right way. Don't say you have a set and then when the guy says, okay, invite, he, he wants you to invite him because, again, he wants the set. He wants to buy it from you. Why scam him? He wants your frost or he wants your fragor. Okay, you have the set. He believes you have the set. He's going to invite you or you invite him. What's the point of scamming him for? He's giving you platinum. For it, whether, whether if it's 200, 250, or 400, he's giving you platinum for a set that you have. Give him your set. Why give him three out of four or two out of four? The, the, the amount of things that I've seen in this game, it was like 
is unbelievable. And on top of that, when people were, were want to come at me as far as with, oh, yo, Kachi selling this for this. I'm like, yo. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me because there'll be there are guys in the game today. There are guys in the game today who will go into navigation and be like, yo, I'm doing this cool, this Kuva survival. They'll go right here and be like, yo, I'm doing this Kuva survival. Where, where, where's the Kuva fortress? Doing this Tavuni Kuva survival. And uh, for the for the new players, it's going to cost you 20 platinum. For vets, it's 30. W what? Not only you are taxiing people, but you charging them plat as well. And people want to talk about me. <laughs> I was like, you better get out of here. You better get out of here because you have never seen me do that nor attempt to do that. If you want to roll with me, I'll invite you. Or better yet, I could just be in a random Kuva survival. You just see me running around and be like, wait a minute. Isn't that Kachi? He's a Warframe partner. Wait, I'm just running into him. Hey, yo, Jay, how you doing? Bro? I'm like, yo, what's up? That is what it is. So just by me getting this amount of platinum as far as just straight grinding the chat opened up so many other things that was just unnecessary and people got banned out of the game for just doing sleazy underhanded stuff and that's the thing that i don't preach nor teach when it comes to this game because when you are one of the few when it comes to being a warframe partner and even before i became a partner i just set the standard and i just lead by example like yo you do this. This is how we going. This is how you're supposed to do it. Don't do anything shady because if you do anything shady and DE finds out, don't blame anybody but yourself if you do, if you do get banned. Especially when the person screenshot what you did, send it to them. You try to go into Warframe next thing you know, oh, your account has been locked or banned because of X, Y, and Z. Like, oh man. People trying to get me banned off of this game as well. They don't got nothing on me. Because again, all of my trades have been legit. That's why most people come to me. I even do my trades in stream and people see. And the thing is, even if I don't have my set or sets, I'll let you know. I'm like, yo, I'm missing this part. I'm missing this part. Can't, I can't go by the trade. I, you know, I'm just going to end the trade because I don't have the necessary part or parts. I just had it right there. I'd rather let you know right there instead of going into the trade and putting in one or two parts and be like, where's the rest? They'd be like, oh, you trying to try something, bruh? Screenshot, click. I got you. Let me send it over to D. Mm -mm, no. I'm just going just gonna to let you know, like, <laughs> I don't got I don't got a set, man. I don't got a set. So people are getting banned off of this game because of me and my platinum as far as how much I was getting. But in the end, it was like, yo, they were doing just some scammy, scammy stuff. Straight up. And it wasn't cool. It just wasn't cool. I remember that time, man. Remember it so